Today's question comes from Reddit. Does a single neuron have more than one type of receptor? A cool question, since simplified images and textbooks may not always be able to transmit how complex a single neuron can be. The answer to this question does however depend a little on what is meant by receptor type. For example, glutamate is a commonly found excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain, and it binds to a variety of receptor types. First, there is a distinction between ionotropic receptors and metabotropic receptors. When glutamate, or some other neurotransmitter, couples to a ligand ionotropic receptor, ion channels are opened that allow for the influx of for example sodium, potassium or calcium. On the other hand, metabotropic receptors do not cause an ion influx, but they initiate a number of metabolic steps to modulate cell activity. When looking in more detail, ionotropic receptors can be further divided into various kinds, for example AMPA and NMDA receptors. Activation of AMPA receptors results in an influx of sodium and potassium. In NMDA receptors, however, there is an additional influx of calcium. Without going into the details, the AMPA activation is important for fast signal transmission. On the contrary, NMDA receptor activation is slower and is also important for the modulation of synaptic strengths, which means that it plays a crucial role in neuroplasticity. So different kinds of metabotropic and ionotropic receptors can all be found in a single neuron and even in a single synapse. But in this example, they all respond to the same neurotransmitter, glutamate. Now another question would be, are there also receptors of different neurotransmitters in a single cell? And again, the answer is yes. Many neurons, such as pyramidal neurons, have both excitatory glutamate receptors as well as inhibitory GABA receptors. This means that the same neuron can be both excited and inhibited. As a final interesting note, not only do postsynaptic terminals have multiple types of receptors, it has also been shown that multiple kinds of neurotransmitters can be released from the same presynaptic terminal. For example, striatal neurons have been shown to release both glutamate and dopamine. That's it. If you want your question to be answered, post them in the comments. See you the next time. Bye bye.